Bienvenidos a otra edición del show de Auto 060 aquí en Cristina Radio Network. Eh, yo soy Javier Mota y tenemos una edición especial. Vamos a tener cuatro entrevistas muy interesantes. Vamos a hablar de la nueva seguridad en Mercedes Benz. Vamos a hablar con un experto sobre lo que debemos hacer cuando vamos al concesionario y que cuando nos hacen el credit check, eh, vamos a hablar con un experto de Edmunds.com. Vamos a hablar también con John McCormick de la uh, World Car of the Year Award. Los premios al auto mundial del año que se entregarán en el uh, Auto Show en Nueva York la semana próxima. Y también una iniciativa de Zion sobre un programa muy interesante que se llama Motivate. Y ahora vamos a cambiar. Vamos, we're going to switch now to English because we have on the line Christian Bosick from uh, Mercedes Benz. How are you, Christian? Hello, are you there? Yep. How are you, Christian? How are you? Um, so we were talking about um, the new safety Uh, awards that Mercedes-Benz have uh, earned uh, this this week uh, for the C-Class and the M-Class. And Mercedes-Benz has always been like a, a leader in uh, safety communication. Most people don't even know that Mercedes-Benz invented things like the airbags, like uh, many different things. But uh, can you tell us a little bit about this new test that uh, the federal government is doing in cars? Yeah, absolutely, Javier. It's great to be on the program. Um, Basically, the C-Class and the M-Class, um, which is almost 50% of our sales in the United States, um, have now uh, received the five-star crash rating from the from NHTSA, which is the United States federal government um, crash safety agency. And what that means is basically the vehicle has very top ratings when it comes to frontal crashes as well as side crashes. And um, Mercedes-Benz, like you mentioned, Mercedes-Benz is a huge history of many decades, um, over five decades of safety engineering. And not only do we engineer our cars, um, most importantly, to excel in real-world crash scenarios, which we have, you know, 40 different crash test scenarios that we test on all of our cars. We also obviously want to make sure that customers know that a lot of the federal and other uh, private uh, crash tests that happen, that these cars also pass those tests. So a combination between real-world testing as well as the more um, clinical testing, um, our, our cars have very, very excellent results. And so we're pleased that, um, you know, in addition to the C-Class and the M-Class, all of our vehicles are tested to the highest standard, but we're glad to have the C-Class and the M-Class um, recognized uh, as having uh, this, this five-star crash test rating. Yeah, and that's something very important for consumers when they are deciding what car to buy, because obviously you never buy a car to crash it, I guess. But uh, have in mind that uh, that peace of mind that if that event happens, you're going to be pretty much walk away of the accident, right? And uh, can you explain a little bit more, um, because I, I understand these are new, tougher testing that they're doing, right? The federal government for new cars, it's starting in 2011 and up. Absolutely. Um, the front crash test is really the, a lot of the, really is where a lot of the critical um, crashes take place and where you have high risk. I mean, um, at the end of the day, any crash can have a risk um, for injury, but the frontal impact when you when you look at the way your body reacts um, in a test, you really everything is being stressed. The seat belts, the steering wheel, um, the brakes. Um, Mercedes-Benz excels uh, in what we call a technology called pre-safe, where it really gets the car ready if it senses an accident is happening. It gets, you know, it open, it, it closes the windows. Um, it, it really gets the entire the brakes ready for you to slam on the brakes, and 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 really this high high tech crash test, which is much more stringent, really focuses on protecting the head, the neck, the chest, and really the, 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 the legs, the femur, you know, basically the upper part of the leg that's connected to the body. Yeah. Because these, you know, the, it's one thing to break a, a pinky. It's yes, one thing to, um, you know... Maybe a rib in a rib. Uh, I mean, it's very uncomfortable, but you can yeah. pretty much operate with that. But if you break a leg, it's really... If you break a leg and a femur and these really big, big things, I mean, it's it's. I mean, it's not just an inconvenience. It's life-changing. It could be permanent. Um, and, and, and it disrupts an entire family's life. And when you have this type of level of safety where Mercedes-Benz thinks about your, your real-world safety, in addition to, of course, passing all of the, the necessary tests, Um, you have a brand that, you know, when people buy a luxury brand, they expect more safety, they expect better service at the dealerships, and they expect much more, especially Mercedes-Benz. I mean, we, we invented the car be way, way before Henry Ford um, even invent started Ford Motor Company. I mean, we've been around since 1886. So um, when, and that being said, people hold Mercedes-Benz to a higher standard. Yeah. And 
you know, they expect customer service at the dealership, but they also expect customer service when um, things go wrong and, and, and in an unexpected way when they're going through their um, daily work and, and there's a crash that happens. And, of course, it's not something they wake up in the morning thinking is going to happen. And, and you know, we, we believe that offering this level of safety in all of our luxury vehicles, not just the C-Class and the M-Class, but every single one of our cars um, is absolutely vital. Yeah. To, to what Mercedes-Benz is about. And, yeah, and uh, Christian, now Mercedes-Benz is going to launch a while. They, 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 you show the CLA, the new class, smaller than the C-Class model. So all this technology, in Europe you have even the B-Class and the A-Class, there are much smaller cars. All this technology goes into every single model, like the ones that are in Europe, and I guess the, the testing is different there. But uh, the CLA is going to have this or better even, because you're inventing things daily, right? Yeah, in fact, this car is um, the CLA is a new sports. We call it a four door coupe because it has a very aggressive roof line, but it's a four door um, aggressive, let's say, a sedan for those who are just looking at it. And that's coming in September, and, and the, we've advertised during the Super Bowl the price point is $29,900 to start. Yeah, pretty and cool that, so by the way. <laughs> Well, yeah, it, 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 uh, with Willem uh, Defoe and so forth. And, you know, any customer buying a car will probably have a car equipped at around, you know, $34,000, $35,000. And that's the starting price of the C-Class. So a normal C-Class is, you know, $40,000, $41,000, yeah. let's say, with some equipment on it. So the CLA is definitely going to be priced below. But it will have all of the standard features and then some. It will have collision prevention assist. Um, for example, if you're driving in Miami or any other city, Chicago, Los Angeles, uh, I personally live in New York, where uh, if you're too close to a car, um, the car senses it and it puts on the brakes for you. Yeah, and, that's and, it's amazing. Have that. Yeah, the it's electronic, amazing the electronic thing. The first time I tried it, I tried it in the S class, and uh, it's a it's a little bit intimidating because you're driving this beautiful car, and then you have to really trust it, and then like the car really stops for you and like things. And it's it's really incredible that system. It is incredible. I mean, when you think about the fact that you will have all of the safety systems uh, in a CLA that costs 29900 and all, a lot of the safety systems that go into an S-Class, um, it's pretty incredible to think that, um, again, when you put the, the Mercedes-Benz star on the car, people have an expectation, and we fully expect to meet those expectations. Yeah. And uh, speaking of uh, new things coming up for Mercedes-Benz and the Auto Show next week, uh do I understand correctly that we're going to see something about the new S-Class? No, actually, you know, it's funny. The, the new S-Class is launching in fall of 2013, but um, it's having a separate uh, debut in Germany um, in, in May, but it's coming to U.S. dealerships in uh, in the fall. It, 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 the, the new interior has been, out and has been kind of coming out on the web lately, and it's uh, it's quite, quite a beautiful new step, um, something certainly along the levels of um, what you would find in a Bentley. And, and the S-Class has always been the benchmark of what, what the perfect sedan should be, uh, luxury sedan, and, and we believe that we will exceed everybody's expectations uh, for what it is. But in general, Mercedes-Benz is coming out with um, 18 new models and engines um, by the end of this calendar year. So oh, in New York, you, know, you, you don't have enough yeah. months for that. <laughs> How are you going to well, do Well, I mean, we, we just have, we, we just have, we actually have, um, Four, uh, you know, actually, it's it's actually close to twenty. Uh, we have fourteen versions of the E Class coming out this year uh, alone with different okay. engines that we offer. So, um, in in New York Auto Show, um, which the press days are um, March twenty seventh and uh, March twenty eighth, and of course open to the public on the 29th, ninth, um, Good Friday uh, before Easter and Passover, is that um, we're going to have the CLA forty five, which is the AMG version of the um, the, the yeah. brand new four door coupe that we've been talking about, and that'll have three hundred and fifty five horsepower. It'll have all-wheel drive. It'll be a rocket, 0 to 60 uh, miles per hour in 4.5, 4.6 seconds. Another world debut um, that we're showing is uh, an electric car called the B-Class Electric Drive, and that's an all-new um, car, same size as the CLA, but it's more of a um, hatchback look, a very versatile car, very stylish, um, and that's coming um, in the first quarter of 2014. So the B-Class is going to debut in the U.S. in, in 2014, then? No? Yeah, the yeah. And, and, uh, the U.S. will be the first country where the electric drive version of the B-Class is going to be available. Um, the B-Class is sold already um, today in its second generation um, in Europe and yeah, in the rest yeah. of the world. But the electric version is going to be available only in the United States first before it um, is sold in other countries. Because the U.S. is a, you know, it's it's great for the U.S. has, um, you know, if you look at uh, Hawaii, Alaska, uh, all of the United States into Puerto Rico, you pretty much have all of the world's climates in one country. So. 
<laughs> you really do. And, you sometimes uh, I have that in my in, in Miami one week. Except <laughs> 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 for the snow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, even sometimes it snows in Miami, but it's yeah. um, once in a great while, every twenty two decades. But um, it, it it's um so the, so we we know that the car um, is tested well for for every worldwide market, and that's why it makes sense to bring it all to the United States. And then some U.S. debuts. We have three U.S. debuts um, from AMG. We by the end of two, this year, we will have twenty AMG models available in the United States, which is a lot. AMG is a special sporting brand for Mercedes Benz. It's very exclusive. All the cars are faster. Not all of them are for the track, but they are very, very, very exclusive in the way they sound, they feel, they, they, and, and their overall uh, overall appearance. Excellent. And um, so we're going to offer the formatic version of the E63 uh, sedan and wagon. We're going to offer the uh, CLS 63, which is now going to be um, formatic as well. And then we're going to have. Um, uh, an extra super fast version, uh, optional version of the C63 sedan and um, coupe called the C63 Edition 507. So we have a lot of news this year, busy, a lot yeah. of news in 2014. So, uh, Javier, we're going to see a lot of you as well, which is always a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you very much, Christian, for your time. I know you're busy preparing for uh, for the outer show. So uh, we'll see you next week in New York, your uh, hometown. Um, we're going to enjoy the outer show over there. And uh, thank you again for your time. All right. Thanks so much, Javier. Take thank care. You. Bye. Y ahí está una entrevista con Cristian Bochi, el gerente de comunicaciones de Mercedes Benz para Estados Unidos. Así que eh, una gran cantidad de debuts para este año, para el próximo, un auto eléctrico que va a empezar con las, la clase B, que es la clase más pequeña de Mercedes Benz acá en Estados Unidos el año próximo. Y bueno, como ya escucharon, una gran cantidad de, de novedades que van a presentar allá en Nueva York la semana próxima. Y vamos a estar por allá trayéndole todas estas informaciones, entrevistas con los expertos, con los ingenieros. Y no solamente de Mercedes Benz, pero de todas las otras marcas. Y no se vayan, que cuando regresamos aquí en Auto 060, vamos a hablar, como les decía, con un experto de Edmunds.com, la página de Internet especializada en información de autos nuevos aquí en Estados Unidos, que nos va a explicar por qué debemos tener cuidado a la hora de ir a un concesionario y que nos eh, piden, nos eh, solicitan que regamos un una revisión a nuestro historial de crédito. Esa cuestión puede ser muy dañina para el futuro porque te empieza a afectar. Así que ya regresamos en Auto 060. Yo soy Javier Mota.